What's up, Tom Keepers? Me, Tom Gummer here, bringing in a part of Kingdom Come Deliverance. So, if you're ready, I'm ready, Tom, to roll the intro. Alright guys, so today I'm going to bring you another part of Kingdom Come Deliverance. If you haven't watched the other parts, definitely go check them out. Uh, they're not very... They're, I'm basically following the story, but at the same time doing stuff that's uh, cool in the, in the game. So, I'll just leave it there. I don't know what I'm going to do this video. I'll probably keep going with some story, some fighting, some... Uh, this game's unforgiving, so there's probably going to be some 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 of those things going on where I'm just trying to fight something and it never works. So, without further ado, just, just jump right in. So, let's go. Where? Oh, shit. Skellywag. Okay, you're down. I got him. You see that? Kill him. <laughs> Do I get a re Oh, okay. You showed him. Of course. Thank you, that thieving magpie. You can't trust anyone these days. Ahem. And just so you know, I'm no pinch purse. Here's a small reward. Thanks. Hey, thank you so much. Your graces, I have to tell you in all seriousness that this land of ours is in the shit. Deep. Fucking shit. Don't you agree? I might not have put it as eloquently as you, Hanush. But I've been driven out of my own castle, so I'm hardly going to disagree. Indeed. But Pirkstein is yours for as long as you need it. There's room enough for your men and you here at Rattay, and I'm sure my ward won't have any objection to me lending you his castle. I'd be honored. Pirkstein is at your disposal as long as you wish, Your Grace. Just as well you have another castle at the other end of town, eh? <laughs> ah, at any rate, I'm beholden to you, Sir Hans, and to you, Sir Hanush. Mm. I don't like to speak ill of your people, Sir Radzik, but, well, there's no love lost between the townsfolk and the refugees. There's been talk of criminality. No, they'll have to get used to it until the situation's resolved. But when will it be resolved? And what on God's earth is this war even about? I won't lie, sir. I don't understand it. Because you're a peasant. You aren't alone, father. <laughs> I believe Sigismund's original intention was to persuade Wenceslas to accept the imperial crown and to leave the rule of Bohemia to him. Well, who could blame him? I know Wenceslas is a friend of yours, Radzig, but even you have to admit he brought it upon himself. I can't deny the king neglected affairs of state for other pursuits. There is a need for order in the land, but I don't think the lords who sided with Sigismund realized just what Hungarian order looks like. <laughs> Hungarian order. <laughs> what concerns me, sir, is how a good Christian could resort to such brutality. To give him his due, I don't think he expected the lords of this country to stand behind the king. But thanks to him, we're tearing ourselves apart, and now he has to get things under control. But why in God's name does he have to use those barbarians? Money is the root of all evil, young sir. Wars are costly. And this one has dragged on for a year. Sigismund ran out of coin for knights, so he recruited those whore sons that settled in Hungary. The less he pays, the more they make up for it with plunder. That's why he attacked us. He was after our silver. What are you doing? You have no business here. Clear off. Wait, it's Henry. Henry, who disappeared after I clearly ordered him to remain at Taunberg. I'm sorry, sir, but I had to bury my parents. And who? Do you think you were the only man who lost someone there? But the others listened to their lord. And it wasn't just your own life you nearly threw away. So Robard and his men risked theirs to save you. I'm sorry, but I had to. No, oh, there you go. When you have to, you have to, Radzik. Your father was a remarkable man, and your mother, well, she was remarkable too. They deserved a Christian burial. Did you manage that at least? No. I was attacked by thieves. I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for that girl. Girl? The miller's daughter, Teresa. 
<laughs> the miller's daughter saved you from the footpads? Oh, there's a tale to tell your children. Uh, I owe my life. She distracted them and then brought me to Ratai. But without Sir Robard, we'd both be dead. Oh, that's what I call a good woman. Hang on to that one, lad. <laughs> Still, it's a great shame your parents are buried in unconsecrated ground. That means purgatory for them. Be quiet, friar. I didn't invite you here to eat me out of house and home and deliver a sermon while you were doing it. If you're so concerned, Father, maybe you should save the innocent souls of these fine Christians yourself. Go to Scalitz and consecrate their graves. I assure you, if you're killed by bandits, your soul will soar straight to heaven, as long as someone buries you in consecrated ground first. <laughs> if there's anything left to bury, that plump carcass of yours would be quite a feast for the wolves and the crows. And one skeleton looks much like another, so how would we know which were your ordained bones or those of Sigismund's Tartars? Be that as it may, why have you come here? I must get your sword back. Sword? My sword hangs here at my side. No, the sword my father forged for you. One of those thieves stole it from me. They almost killed him and he already wants to go back. Takes after his father, I suppose. Lad, I've lost a castle, a village, silver mines, and a good half of my subjects. Why would I miss one sword? Because it's the last one my father forged, and I promised him I'd deliver it to you. I understand. I'd feel the same way. But prudence is the better part of valor, and a dead man keeps no promises. Aye. The woman had to save his fat from the fire, and now he wants revenge. What kind of fool are you, boy? He's no fool. Henry, you have courage, but you need training, arms, a horse. Or do you mean to beat this thief at dice? <laughs> no, sir. Please, take me into your service and give me the chance to learn these things. The gall of him! Fled from the enemy, disobeyed your orders, duped Sir Divish, lost your sword, put Sir Robard in danger with his actions, and now he wants a promotion. Sir Capon's right. What you say is certainly true. Except for fleeing the enemy. You would have run as well. Believe me. Henry's earned some punishment, but... How do you punish someone who's already lost everything, hmm? Courage and blind obedience are good qualities for a soldier. But a wise man also appreciates loyalty, perseverance, and determination. Besides, that was a fine sword that his father made. If he thinks he can get it back, I won't turn it down. My lord, he's a peasant. You can't make a squire of a peasant. Why not? Someone made a priest of a pig. <laughs> he isn't a peasant, father. He's a blacksmith. And recent events have left me in need of his skills. So, you'd like to enter my service? So, I... Yes, I would. You won't regret it. <laughs> oh, I probably will. I'm doing this for your father, lad. Don't disappoint me. Oh, fortune has finally smiled on you today, lad. Make the most of it. Now that I think about it, Sir Hanush, the boy needs training and experience, and you need spear carriers. That's true. The bailiff is always complaining about your people making trouble in the camp. Maybe one of their own among the guard might help. It might. In any event, it will prove valuable experience. <laughs> but let's be clear. You're the one paying him. <laughs> Captain Bernard, see to his training, and then send him to the bailiff. Yes, sir. And don't spare him. You can rely on it, sir. All right. Don't forget, Henry. Don't disappoint me. I won't, my lord. All right. That went exactly the way I thought it was going to go. <laughs> Captain Bernard. Good day to you. What do you need? I'm here for training. Yes, you're that boy Sir Radzik sent. That'll be me. Yes, that's me. <laughs> that's me. Let's get to it then, <laughs> since that's what Sir Radzik wishes. Uh, and because you've never held a sword in your hand before, we'll start with something simpler. Yeah, let's start with the basics. Very well. Come with me and listen closely. I don't want to be repeating myself. I'll be with you. So let's see what you're made of. Hold it properly and 
Keep moving. Never stand still when your life depends on it. Right, good. Now, try attacking. You've got to put your back into a good slash. No use waving the sword around like you're swatting flies. <laughs> Go into the swatting fly? your whole body. Try slashing from various sides to get used to it. Not bad. Well done. Nice. Well done. All right. Very good. That pointy tip isn't for decoration. Try stabbing me with it a few times. Well done. Stabby, stabby. Very good. Nice. Nice. That will do. Slashing, stabbing, and movement are the foundations that you build everything else on. Now, let's try something more complicated. One strike, I can simply fend off. You mustn't give your opponent time to react. String your strikes together. As soon as you finish one, begin another. Strike, strike, strike. Good. What is it? Not that. Nice. Now let's see how you do with defense. It's not hard to block a basic strike. Just watch out and move your sword into the path of the blow. All right. Ow. Nice. Ow. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, that's it. Got this. We got this. Very good. Very well, then. Let's see what you're made of, lad. Come at me and don't hold back. Good strike. Whoa, okay. Ow, quit stabbing me. Wrong. Again. Not bad. Very good. There you go. Not bad. Well, now, that wasn't too bad. Maybe we'll make a soldier of you after all. Nice. Don't get cocky. You have to train hard and persistently. You might have talent, but talent alone won't do. Practice. All right, that sounds like a plan. Don't leave yet. The Razig also wanted me to teach you archery. Sweet. Come with me. Hmm. Let's see then. Take this bow, go and stand in position over there, and we can start. And another thing. Put on this arm guard. Without it, you could flay your forearm with a bowstring, so be sure to wear it. Thank you, Captain. Save the thanks and get in position. Jeez. Now concentrate. Bow ain't exactly the weapon of choice of a knight, but it can come in very handy. You've got two bandits coming at you from a distance. You shoot one in the eye, drop your bow, and draw your sword on the other. Emperor Charles, God rest him, encouraged his subjects to learn archery. He even organized contests in Prague. If you wouldn't have gotten far there, you're holding the thing like a piece of firewood. But enough talk. There's the target. Try and hit it. Draw the bow, aim, and release. You miss. Try to get a feel Blacksmith. for the rhythm. Inhale on the draw. Hold your breath for a moment, and then release the string. No jerky movements. Just let the string slide out of your fingers, as if you were about to draw it back more. It's all one movement. The arrow all right. Aiming at the target and flying. Oh, that was a nice one. What you have there is a training bow. The arrow drops quickly. Once you've trained a bit, you can get yourself a better one, and then those arrows will fly so fast you won't see them. Don't forget the arm guard. Once you've mastered the bow a bit. All right, I guess I got it. Got it good. Well, that was awful. What? I didn't imagine a village yokel like you would have much skill, but you failed to meet even my low expectations. What? I don't know why you're wasting your time, Sivanov. 
Nothing will come of him anyway, and at the first sign of trouble, he'll run away like any other cowardly peasant. After all, he's done it before. What did you say? Calm down, boy. Keep in mind who you're talking to. A braggart who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. <laughs> now, you've really done it. You'll go to the stocks for that. Calm yourself, Sir Bernard. If the blacksmith's boy feels he can prove himself, then let him try. Do you think you can beat me? Well, any time. Very well. If you defeat me, I'll give you my bow. If you lose, you'll have to pay up. Do you even have any coin? I have enough. Good. Then let's get to it. All right. Fuck off. Oh, there we go. We got it. Oh. Once you get the bullseye, it's pretty good. Uh, uh, yeah, it should be fine. Yay! Well, I didn't expect that. Probably just wasn't your day, sir. I told you I have a heavy hand. Ever since I fell off that oh, horse during God. the last month. What are you grinning about, boy? I think you owe me a little payback. How about a sword fight at the arena? If you like. Sir Hans, is this necessary? Sir Hanish has already had words about you fighting with your subjects. He explicitly told me. I know what he told you. You can just tell him I didn't listen to you. So what's it going to be, blacksmith? If we must. Excellent. Then let's go. All right, we'll do this. Oh no! Is that all you've got? No more fooling around. Oh. oh. God damn! Uh, ow! Yeah! Oh, I should have blocked on that one. Oh dear, did that hurt? Come on now. Show what you're made of. Come on now. Come on, little buddy. Come on now. Kurva. Uh. 
Come on. Give up. Come on, buddy. Come on, I had to. Come on. I got Jesus you, bud. Christ. I got you, bud. I got you. Got him. Got him. I think it's because I have a lot of armor, too. You got the better of me this time, blacksmith. I must be having an off day. Are you all right, sir? Don't worry your mangy head about me, peasant. We'll see each other again soon enough. You can keep my bow. It's best years are behind it anyway. Hey, thank you. All right, Captain Bernard, I sure showed him. You better hope his lordship hasn't taken it badly. <laughs> uh-huh. You shouldn't have challenged You shouldn't have challenged me. Careful. You might be under Sir Radzig's protection, but you'd be wise to stay on good terms with the other noblemen, too. Now go to the Rad House. The bailiff's waiting for you there. All right, Captain. Uh, all right, Captain. All right, guys. Thank you so much for, for watching another Kingdom Come Deliverance. I'm really enjoying this game. I think uh, with, with the little training I got from, the, uh, from uh, Sir Bernard there, it was really helpful. Uh, to help me fight so hopefully it will go definitely well uh, So hopefully you guys enjoyed hit that like button subscribe to the channel really appreciate it Leave a comment below any tips and trick you can give me for kingdom come deliverance any sword thing any anything I should I, I should go find to make my life easier Any secret location with cool stuff in it of course no story spoiler would re really appreciate it if there wasn't any story spoiler And of course you can go follow me everywhere me time gamer twitter twitch facebook instagram and right here youtube.com forward slash me time gamer where I post a new video every day of the week, Monday to Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. But well, thank you so much, guys, for watching, and we'll see you next video. Keep on keeping on. Yeah.